Hey, welcome back to Matt's Garage DIY. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on a Tecumseh HS40. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to remove the valves. So here's my engine. These are the valves we're going to be taking out. Uh, first things first, um, with the motor at top dead center, I've got the piston up to the top. Just wiggle or try to wiggle those two valves. Make sure there's no play. If you can move those valves at all, Either a sign that the uh, that your little sort of cam in there is, is worn or you've maybe got a broken valve spring. You want to take a look at that. Um, I'll show you real quick how to just check, make sure you got the correct clearance. But in this case, like I said, top dead center, no movement in these valves. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is check your valve clearance. Kind of where the, the valve and the little keeper, I don't know if you can see that right under here. There's right in there, there should be a tiny little gap. I'm using a 10,000th feeler gauge, can basically just get that in there. This side, I've got a little bit more of a gap on the left-hand side. It's about 12 thousandths. This side, I've got 10 thousandths. I can just get that in there. So from what I've been able to find, that indicates that I've got uh, proper valve clearance, not really worried about the wear. Uh, so I'm just gonna take these valves out and reseat them, uh, clean them all up, and then move on with the rest of the engine. All right, this is what the Valve springs and valves look like when they're removed. As you can see, there is a sort of a key-shaped hole in the valve spring retainer. Basically the idea is that the valve goes through, slide it over and lock it in there. To remove it, you're compressing the spring, sliding that retainer to the side, and then the two pieces come back apart. So as I showed you in the last clip, the uh, bottom retainers kind of have a sort of a keyhole shape cut in them. Um, I had a really hard time sort of looking up underneath, finding out which direction those were. So what I've done, I've just bent a little piece of wire that's maybe a quarter inch uh, little leg that I built, bent on the end. Basically, if I stick that up on the bottom, kind of drag it around the bottom of the retainer, eventually it's just going to pop into where that hole is. So that indicates for me that this retainer is on that side and then when I do it to the second one this one is actually the exact opposite so in, in this case both retainer slots sort of paint point towards the middle okay before you move your valve springs a couple quick things you're gonna have to do first off you want to remove the camshaft basically that sits right in inside the the casting below the valves that will slide out the side after that you want to remove these lifters the one on the left side has been removed. The one on the right is still in, as you can see. You just basically reach inside, pull straight down. That will drop out of the way, giving you the clearance you need to work. To remove the valve springs, I'm going to use a 3 8 wrench. Basically going to use that to push up on the retainer and then slide it towards the keyhole. As you can see, there we go. I just kind of pulled that forwards. The valve uh, has unclipped itself and the valve just lifts straight out the top. Okay, cleaned up my valves, time to put it all back together. Basically what I'm going to do is take my spring, my bottom retainer, and my top retainer. So I'll put those on like that. I'm gonna be inserting this into the block. The valve will be dropping through from the top all the way through. Again, I'm gonna to have to compress that spring and then slide the lock over. Once that's done, I can let go of everything and the valve will be installed. So I'm just showing you that here because it's going to be a little hard to see um, kind of while it's happening in the block, but that is the gist of how you put that back together. Okay, time to put the pieces back in. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the spring, I'm going to put the top retainer with just the round hole on top, the bottom retainer that has the keyhole, put that on the bottom, slide those pieces in. I'm going to take my valve, I drop that down from the top, you kind of have to move that around a little. I've now dropped it in, it's ready to compress and put together. Okay, I mentioned I'd used the 3 8 wrench to uh, compress the spring the first time. When the spring is like that fully sort of uncompressed, it's hard to get the wrench under. I use a putty knife. Sort of slide that underneath, pry up, and that gives you a chance to get the wrench in. Okay, I've got the wrench underneath. My keyhole is at the back. I believe when I pry up, 
can see that I move this and the valve doesn't move. So it's indicating to me that everything is more or less lined up correctly. So basically I'm going to put some, try to put some downward pressure on that. Use a screwdriver. Push the retainer back and the valve is together. And that is how you remove and reinstall the valves on a Tecumseh small engine.